talk about the bokeh. Bokeh. What's up, guys? Today we have the WL. Wait, W. L1 Ulanzi wide angle lens for the Sony ZV1. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Edgar B and in this channel we do tips, tutorials, unboxing and reviews like the one we're doing today. So I have my Sony ZV1 here. Great, great camera. There are a lot of people that complain about the lens saying it's not too wide enough. I'm not sure for me, it feels okay. I'm not a vlogger, but I don't seem for it to have any major issues. It does, the Sony does have a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. So Ulanzi came out with this product. It's the Ulanzi WL-1. Ulanzi WL-1 wide angle lens it comes in this box. Not a lot of things in the box, just open up the box and you have your lens. Now this lens is a wide angle lens and it also includes a macro lens. The wide angle lens is 18 millimeters. Oh, before anything, I want to give shout out to Ulanzi for sending me this product for testing. This review is unbiased. They're not paying me to review this item. They just sent it to me so I can go ahead and review it and give my honest opinion. And the link will be in the description and disclaimer, it is a, an affiliate link via Amazon, via or via Amazon. I don't know whichever way you say it. And it's $49.95 for the lens. But by clicking on that link, I'll get a small commission that will go towards my channel. My channel. Yes. So let's get back to the review. Somebody did ask me in a previous video if it would fit with the small rig that's on the Sony CV-1 and it does, there's no issue. So if you have the small rig cage on the Sony CV-1, there's no issue. I've tried it. It goes on perfect. There's no blockage or anything like that. So you see, this already is already there. As you can see, it comes with this little 3M tape ring and you attach that on the Sony ZV-1. Once you attach that to the Sony ZV-1, this has a cap right here. And then the, oops, oops. It has a cap protecting the lens that connects to the camera. So you just unscrew this. Once you unscrew this, you have the camera with the ring already attached to it and boom look at that don't don't tighten it so much but um just that's that easy that easy and then the front you have that see now a lot of questions were asked about whether this would mess up the zv one's motor my recommendation and what i currently do is i keep it off you know, I keep it off and when I turn on my, my Sony ZV-1, then I clip it on. No problem. And also take it off before turning it off. And there it goes. No issues whatsoever. Okay. So right now I'm just going to be standing right here and this is the this is the Sony ZV-1 without the wide angle lens. For me, I like it and I am at an arm's length. So this is the vlogger's angle. I don't see any problems with it. Now, there are other vloggers that would like the wider lens to get wider shots. But to me personally, there's no need for it. This is it like that without the wide lens. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. And this is me with the lens on. So I'm gonna stand in the same spot so you can see any difference. Just pay close attention to the back area, what you can see to my left and what you can see to my right. Now, if you see, I haven't, mo I, well, I haven't moved it. I'm trying not to move it, but if you see towards my left, 
the house, you don't see it as much. And also on the right, put it on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. And this is with the macro lens on. <laughs> oh. Oh. Talk about the bokeh. Bokeh. Now we're back in the studio. Oh. Man, I did a lot of running around right now. As you can see, I might be a little bit shiny. Am I shiny? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. This lens is 18 millimeters wide. And I have it on right now in the studio. As you can see, it looks perfect. And like I said, it doesn't bother me the other way either, but you want that extra wide angle, you have this and since Sony came out with the CV-1, that was like one of the biggest, I say, complaints that I've seen online is about the wide angle, that and the battery thing to close. But I already resolved that in another video that I did with the cage that I have from Small Rig. And you could go ahead and watch that video here to the left. Yes, I believe this is my left. Yes, guys, so that was a quick, quick, really quick unboxing and review on the Ulanzi WL1 on the Ulanzi WL1 but yes it's $49.95 at the time of this recording the link will be in the description and the link is an affiliate link it doesn't cost you extra it doesn't cost you less but you click that link and whatever you buy from there on within I think 24 hours I think 24 hours I'll get a small commission, which that will greatly help my channel. Whatever commissions I get from the Amazon affiliate link or YouTube, which I haven't been able to cash in on it yet on my monetization, but whatever extra cash I get does help out the channel with me upgrading gears. I have ordered and I'm waiting for it. I'm excited. I've ordered some sound blankets from Vocal Booth to go. And I also ordered a uh, computer legs desk frame. I think you say it like that. But yes, a motorized frame for my desk. And that should be arriving tomorrow. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I have new videos. And if this video was useful to you, click the like button and I will see you guys on my next review. And it's done. Bam, one camera, two cameras. And it's hot. Yeah.